All right, everybody, we got a really fun match today. This is the Nogi Pan Am's finals of 2019. Uh, I'm going against a guy who's really tough. He actually beat one of my teammates before. He's got good wrestling. And I'm fucking super injured because I was bouncing the weekend before. And I had to shoot on this guy who's got Giants disease. And I scraped my fucking knee all the way down to the bone. So I got this little wrap on. I'm just doing my best to just stay active. Uh, I sprint out there at the very start of every match because it gives me that, that springy energy that I need to shoot on people right away and to just kind of push the pace. So right away I get down in the stance. This is back when my wrestling was not as clean as it is today. I was still kind of figuring out some of my setups and I was still practicing my 10,000 on shots and single legs and stuff like that. But it's not bad. I used to take everyone down still. So. I get in a decent single leg on him right away, and then I don't get it in a good position. He ends up hooking my leg and kind of throwing me back down, and then I just do everything I can to get him off me. So it was a decent entry, but it didn't really work out. Uh, like I said, I was still figuring some stuff out. Now, his fucking entry, the, that goddamn arm drag to the trip. Okay, the Marcelo Garcia completely caught me off guard. I was not ready for it, and I actually just completely gave up the takedown. I didn't, I didn't even fight it after a certain point. Uh, what I should have done is switched to normal plot on the left side, but it just is what it is. Okay, now I'm trying to make a little bit of space. I want to play an active guard. I don't really want to play closed guard right now. I, I just want something where I can get underneath his hips and maybe wrestle up or chase his back or something. So I go ahead and make some space, and it's funny how many people let me just play Nogi Lasso on them and just have no idea what to do and how it actually sets up quite a few decent offensive tactics. So I'm still playing pretty actively. Uh, I wish I'd been a little more active at this point in setting up uh, an attack, but again, I just got taken down. I think I need to catch my bearings for a second. Okay, he's letting me hang on his head. Now, what I should be doing is really getting my hips underneath him and actually playing a butterfly guard aggressively. Uh, I feel like I'm stalling at this point just from the lack of attacks. So don't be that guy. Be the buzzsaw off your back. There you go. My butterfly hooks kind of saved me there. He goes for a really shitty knee slice, which never works on me because it's my goddamn move. And then I immediately start inverting underneath him fast as fuck, boy. Now he's in trouble. Okay, so I actually get to full crab ride. And I take him down... Uh, I go to sweep him and I end up getting us back and I put my fucking hooks in here in bounds. We go out of bounds and I end up losing my hooks as we go out of bounds and I just get reset back into the middle and I only get my advantage. I don't get the sweep for coming up on top. I don't get anything like that, which is really super unfortunate. But let's watch that sequence again. So it started with me finally just getting a grip on his leg off of him trying to knee slice me. Again, this is what you get for trying to knee slice the knee slice king. Okay, and I'm able to invert underneath him really, really quickly. Okay, those butterfly hooks, there's a ton of pressure that I'm putting down, which is preventing him from really just stepping out or turning out. I try to come up into a leg drag, and again, it doesn't really work out. I go for my hooks, and I think I lost my left hook at one point, and that's why I don't have hooks when I'm over here. So, I didn't get my two points, though, so I'm still down by two points. Okay, I got an advantage, but fuck me sideways with a cactus. This is not what I want. I don't want to be down by two with time running off on the clock. So we end up tying back up. I think I'm a little more wary of his wrestling at this point because he did just take me down. And I have so much trouble shooting because of this this wrap that I have on my knee where I skinned it to the bone, man. Uh, it threw my whole tournament off so much. By the way, I weighed 159, and this is the middleweight division. This is the lightest I've ever been in my entire life. I look like a goddamn crackhead. So I go for another shot. I don't even get close. It doesn't really matter. Re-reset, and now we're starting to play fucking hand grips. And... Uh, this is just pointless on my part. I, I think I've decided in my head I'm going to wait to shoot a little bit and see if he's going to give me some more offense, which is just the incorrect like mentality to have. I, I think it jarred me getting taken down right away. So now I get a quick snatch single, and this time I'm able to put some pressure on him. So when I, when I go to put my pressure down and put him on the mat, that gives me the chance to hike it up and fix my position. Now I've got a football carry. Now I'm in a position to actually do some damage. When he turns away from me, I, just, I prevent him from running out of bounds. He tries to do the Brazilian. Look at him. He tries to run out of bounds and roll out of bounds. And I'm able to just drag him back in. And I hold him down long enough to get my two points. I really wish I could have stayed on top at that point, though. Because if I was on top of him, I would beat that fucking ass. So now we end up standing back up. Ooh, he does a really, really clean duck under, and there's Heath yelling me, get up, you stupid motherfucker. So I end up getting up. Uh, that was close, though. Like I said, this guy's wrestling is not terrible. Um, he's wrestle-fucked a couple of my teammates before. Okay, so we... Now we're, now we're tied, actually. Now I'm ahead right now. I've got an advantage up on him. So now the onus is on him to try to do something. 
So I can freely pull guard again. I could shoot again. It just depends. But right now, we're just kind of feeling each other out. Like, he's almost taking me down again. I just took him down. So both of us are kind of respecting each other's wrestling at this point. Yeah, he's getting the little fake dance going like they're going to shoot, but they don't. They just dance. And we both deservedly get our penalty. So let's skip ahead. Fuck this shit. Okay, so we restart. We just got a penalty. I'm still up by an advantage. I shoot another double egg. Almost fucking turned the corner there. Almost take him down. He's able to peel me off him. That didn't work out because I just had so much trouble penetrating. Like, my shot looks so sloppy compared to how it is today. Just because of this goddamn knee brace. Okay, like, I don't get, I don't get very far off of that. So, not a fan of my shot right there. But I did actually get into his hips. It was one I could have finished, but I just didn't. Like, I didn't, didn't work out. He tries to shoot in me again. I just kind of down block him and stuff him. Now what I should do is immediately throw this by. Yeah, I do, but I don't shoot off of it. Damn it. Again, I'm, I'm hesitating. Don't hesitate. You just open up the throttle, full buzzsaw, and you will win significantly more of your matches. So, I think I'm going to shoot again. Yep, I go for a fake arm drag to a single leg. It doesn't even work out at all because my shot was so sloppy because of that knee brace. He gets a front headlock, and I pull guard. Okay, I, I already know I can get under him anytime I want. I swept him ex insanely easily. I'm not concerned. So now all I have to do is figure out like if I'm going to ride the clock out or if I'm going to go for another wrestle up. Now, he, again, tries to go for a knee slice on me, which is just not going to work. I uh, end up throwing an omoplata up, and now this is why we have an omoplata instructional. I've put so much time and effort into my omoplata game, gi and no gi. Um, I'm notorious for actually tapping people no gi, which is very, very difficult to do if you don't know what you're doing. So I go for the crucifix omoplata, and I start to scooch my hips out, and you can see when he dumps into my lap, that's when he gets the he has to tap. His shoulder's just completely getting torn off. And I get the win. So this was 2019 Nogi Pan Am's champion. Uh, this was when they were just starting to think about filming Daisy Fresh. They didn't film this one, though. <laughs> I wish they had. Because the flow grappling footage that they use on their cameras is just terrible. So yeah, that was Brown Belt Wilsey winning the 2019 Nogi Pan Am's. Um, it's a kind of exciting match. I, like I said, I'm just disappointed in my level of wrestling and what I was able to showcase with that knee brace on and being injured. But for being injured and for being as light as I was, you know, I thought it was pretty decent. So, hope everyone enjoyed and I hope everyone remembers to eat their Panda Express and has a fantastic day. Bye, have a great time.